Hi everyone, here is the mitral stenosis for, from the board review exam. Question number 26. Uh, what physiology change doesn't occur in the presence of the pure moderate severe mitral stenosis? It means we don't have any AI, MR, anything in that situation. Which of them uh, will be correct? Which of the following is not seen in MS? Uh, and you can see here, just based on the symptom and the physiology and physiopathology of the uh, MS, you can answer very easy. Here we have in patient, uh, we do continuous Doppler on mitral valve. We see this uh, Doppler, look at the shape and all those characteristic features of the uh, mitral valve inflow. Based on that, which of them has clear evidence of the this pattern finding? It's very even. Uh, just this is a picture, not clip. So whatever you see, based on that, whatever you see, you have to pick up which one is correct answer for that Doppler can cause this one. And which of them has uh, the sign of the mitral stenosis here again Doppler of the mitral valve inflow which of them is represent can represent uh, moderate or significant uh, or compared to each other which one is represent more uh, MS Here, yeah, the patient have to measure blood uh, the velocity, peak velocity of the mitral valve inflow peak uh, 10 millimercury and it dropped to the 5 millimercury in 230 millisecond. Based on this finding, how much will be mitral valve or if it's area? And uh, 32, in which of the following situation, pressure half time is not reliable. It can be uh, peak correct one. It can be one of them, two, three, or multiple, not only one. And in a patient, uh, we measure stroke volume 60 milliliter and mitral valve VTI 30 milliliter. If the patient doesn't have any regurgitation or intracardiac shunt, just uh, here without anything uh, shunt or uh, regurgitation, how much will be mitral valve area? And the 34, in the case of significant aortic regurgitation, pressure half time of the mitral valve will be what? Is that in that situation? Uh, with the mitral valve stenosis and AR, what happened to the pressure half time? And in patient with rheumatic aortic stenosis, which of the following condition almost is a rule? Mitral regurgitation, mitral stenosis, tricuspid stenosis, pulmonary stenosis. The full version explanatory answer version of this will be uploaded tomorrow in the member group up to the next time. Have a wonderful time.